with just the amount of injuries that you've seen on this team, whether it's been with Kyrie Irving, James Harden, and Kevin Durant, and a litany of other players on this roster, do you think that these injuries could potentially affect their, their playoff performance once they get into the playoffs in about a month or so? Um, definitely. Uh, and mainly because when you have superstars that have been out for some time, it's going to take them time to kind of get accoladed back in their grooves, you know, get them comfortable again. Um, depending on the significance of their injury, I would assume when James gets back, he might be in a little bit of a minute restriction because we're talking about a hamstring. Um, Kevin Durant has been unfortunately battered and bruised throughout this entire season between being out for COVID twice. Um, I believe his hamstring and now yeah. bruised thigh and, and, and again, a litany of other injuries, uh, and so on and so forth. So first and foremost, that messes with their, their mental and their consistency of like, they got to get back in their groove physically. They have to get back on the court and acclimated to the, 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 the physicality of getting back into the groove completely. And then, you know, team-wise, bro, chemistry. Like, bro, James has been out for a while. Kyrie's been in and out of the lineup for personal reasons. KD's been in and out for personal reasons. And now injuries again. Bro, the three of them haven't been on the court together for a while. And that is rough, especially considering a lot of your other teammates have been out as well. Blake Griffin, Marcus retired. Spencer Dinwiddie has been out for almost half the year, if not a little bit more. So, I mean, dude, we're, we're talking like half their roster has been hurt up and down all season long. So this definitely could come back to bite them come playoff time. Will they lose the first round? I'm not saying that, but yes, it definitely can affect them for sure. And yeah, I still think that this team is a finals contending team. I just yeah, still see it that yeah. way. It's just, unless the Knicks take them out, which would throw the city into a chaos. That's cap. That's cap. Oh, no, 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 I don't, I, no, no, no. See, you don't, you don't, you don't have the Twitter followers. I do. Everybody in every Nick fan wants the smoke with Brooklyn in the playoffs. Every real Nick fan wants it to be in the Eastern Conference Finals because they said if we beat the Nets with all of that help, there is no excuse. And the Brooklyn can never talk again about who is the king of teams in New York. I mean, I'll bro, tell you I'm telling you, bro, I got people begging for this to happen. Bro, the Knicks are on the streak right now, and all my boys are like, we want Brooklyn. We want Brooklyn. Brooklyn ain't shit. Like that rivalry has always been there as Nick and Net fans, like before they the transition to, to Brooklyn. But now that it's actually within the boroughs, bro, that hatred has grown immensely. And you know, these these groups of people don't like each other, bro. I'm telling you, if they match up in the postseason, I'm watching every game. Cause somebody get clocked. <laughs> They don't like each other, bro. I'm, I'm dead serious, man. That's a New York insider right there. That's me telling you as a New Yorker. And because I still got my ties back home, bro, they want the beef and they want the smoke in every way. I mean, I don't think the players are going to go out and physically fight. If the fans want to oh, do it, might. that's fine. Oh, they might. They might. You forget KD, the whole thing about him and Kyrie coming to New York, and then they ended up going to Brooklyn instead. Bro, the Knicks and Nets don't like each other. They never have. Oh, I don't disagree about that. It's just that is it going to spill over to where you're going to see them really going oh, at man. it, though. I don't know, but I want to see it. I mean, I'll tell you what, though. It would be definitely an enticing matchup to see those two go at it in the playoffs. I'll be in a seven game. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, man. I'll be there for that. So I'm fucking watching every game, dude. If you could put, if you could pair those teams up and put the freaking Charlotte Hornets announcers, I mean, it'd be be nuts i'd love it that's that's not gonna happen popcorn basketball that's popcorn basketball i I, the the announcer part isn't gonna happen but i'd be there for it it's just that could be to to get back onto the nets though look even though that i think they're still a finals contending team i'm not gonna sit here and say that this team is perfect this team is far from perfect there's one thing that told me that this team could be in a little bit of trouble it's just their depth you saw LaMarcus Aldridge retire a couple of days ago. And in one of the games that he was playing in, he was getting bodied by LaMarcus, by uh, Andre Drummond. Andre Drummond. I mean, it was nuts. They just don't have anybody to defend the paint. Whether it they go up against the Knicks potentially in a playoff series, if they get if they have to go up against Philly, though, Philly's gonna give them some problems because Joel Embiid is gonna be a monster against that team. But if KD, Kyrie, and James are all on the court, or at least two of them, 
I th- think that team still is good enough to get out of the Eastern Conference just because of the overwhelming firepower that those three pl- players present to whatever team they're going up against. I think, 100%. I think they're going to go through a little bit of a struggle stretch for probably the next week. Um, I don't know who's going to come back first between uh, between either James or Kevin Durant. I would like to think that Katie would probably come back sometime next week. I think he's probably going to take this week off. I mean, who knows? I, they've been dealing with injuries the entire year, and they've been – listen, I'm not going to say that they haven't had the injuries that they've had. It's just that, to me, they have really seemed to milk those injuries longer than I think you and I would have expected them to be out for. But at some point, you had to be available to be on the court. And it was like you said, the three of them have had limited time playing with each other this entire year. So I think the chemistry issues could be one to kind of pay attention to, especially as we get to the last maybe two, three weeks of the season. And look, it's one thing if you're hurt. Injuries are just a part of the game. But what comes along with it is, you know, you're going to have to have your depth step up and try to make up the production from your starters and your superstars not being in the game. And the Nets don't have a lot of wiggle room here. They don't have the depth from 6 to 10 to carry this team. They Granted, they're top-heavy. That 1 through 5 is solid. But they're going to need to have some depth players really step up here. Because if those guys stay, can't stay healthy with KD, James, and Kyrie, there's going to be some issues with this team as far as just overall health. And I don't know if it's going to necessarily translate into them getting bounced out of the playoffs early, but it's something to pay attention to for sure.